Hi everyone, so I'm back to share another journal with you. Well, actually I've already shared this journal, but what I did with it was I revamped it a little bit. Um, I've added more to it, changed the cover, well, changed the topper on the cover, um, and just, like I said, added a few more bits to it. So, um, will be listed in my shop, and I'm just gonna do a quick flip through of it. I'll give you the measurements. So it's a tall, slim, eclectic style junk journal and it measures ten and a half by four and three quarters it has one signature and 60 pages front and back and it's filled with lots of different things and now there's a helicopter coming over the house um i don't know if you can hear that or not but my shed's shaking <laughs> anyway uh, like i said this will be listed in my shop it has a fabric cover with some form of um like embroidery stitch on it i don't know if you can see it whether the lighting's good enough um on the front here this is from ruby and pearl uh, i can't remember the name of the company i got that from it's a digital got some crocheted trim some pom-pom trim it's been stitched all around and let's go inside so uh, i think i made this out of an envelope a big tall envelope just making sure i'm in frame okay so i've made some extra tags to pop in there and this is one of them it's got some um vintage french ephemera on the back this is from arty mays and here we've got uh, a couple of bits this is from the old design shop and straight after this video, I'm going to, there will be another video, but well, it's already uploaded, but I'm going to show this one first um, before the other one comes out. And it's another shabby chic one. So if you want to, like if you're interested in this one and maybe you want to hold off and look at the next video, um, it will be about 10 minutes after this one. Um, just in case, just putting that out there. <laughs> Little piece there from Ruby and Pearl. I do love them little girl images. Well, female images it is. This is a piece from Ruby and Pearl that I've just added. This is uh, from the book England is a Garden. I can't remember the name of the journal that this was before. Because obviously, like I said, I've revamped it. Um, so that goes on there. This is from Artie Mays and it's from her letter Ephemera. So it kind of all folds up. I love that idea couldn't do that now you know for privacy reasons <laughs> but um you know send a letter like that this is from ruby and pearl and that goes on there this is a freebie from my coffee shop this is ruby and pearl as well and that's actually a flip so that comes off so that flips opened and let's put that back on before i lose it before i lose it um so that goes on there so this is from dreams etc and i've backed it onto some blue paper that how did i do that again it was from the easter egg die uh this i think is from tailor made journals this is ruby and pearl and like i said that is from dreams etc this is some original french ephemera it's a little bit torn there 1931 and obviously the other bits around the other side this is from england is a garden this is from well this paper is artie mays some digital washi from chapter one there is that from mrs cobbs and i can't remember what that's from what kit um here um i'd made a load of little i'd accident i wanted to print one page you know when you want to print one page of um like on a pdf and i forgot to click just like the current page to be um printed so it printed out like the whole six sheets in that little kit and there were all these from artie Mays, just these little images here so i just made loads of little paper clips for my scrappy pieces just easy peasy paper clips um that is again that is some original french ephemera that is 24th of it says mars but i'm sure that means march and it is 1901 um this i don't know who that's from a bit left over probably from Taylor made journals you can find links below to the people i'm talking about uh, the digital designers 
this is ruby and pearl although ruby and pearl is not linked to be though um, i should do now because i'm using a lot of well not a lot of her stuff but what i have got of hers i'm using it a lot <laughs> if that makes sense um fabric tab pocket here uh this is from the old design shop and this is from artie maze i can't remember what kit that's from probably letter ephemera this is from ruby and pearl this is some original music paper and then i just made that like a bookmark or something this is some original vintage ephemera we've got this there's a freebie over on my coffee shop bit of full washi there and that just goes on there this paper here is from the old design shop the washi wraps around here ruby and pearl this i think is from the old design shop uh, this is the old design shop as well we have some crocheted trim on here they made one of these and put that in so that's just like um well, I don't know what you call it, it's just a, you can do it like hanging it over the page if you want, like so, but like that, actually that's a good idea. Um, so this is Artie Mays, digital washi, the paper is from, uh, the, no it's not for the old design shop, it is Taylor Made Journals, this is Ruby and Pearl, I love these long photographs, and that's a little bit, I don't, I can't remember the name of the digital designer because that's just a new kit that I bought so it's not it's not sunk into my brain yet so I'm going to do that like that so it's over the page just really easy peasy stuff um, England is a garden here we've got I've wrapped the digital washi round then I've made this little tag and tab on there this is wallpaper i've backed it so it's it's white and it's but it's got a bit of glitter on it so you could add something on the front and do some journaling on the back of that this is um tailor made journals made a big belly band there with a piece of just coffee dyed paper it's been corner punched and stenciled And that goes in there this is from dreams etc blue paper on the back a uh, little tag there i made that's from that new kit this is artie may's center of the signature then you'll find another one of these i've done some stenciling that's supposed to be ripped out there because that was like the white piece so when it was obviously scanned in you're supposed to notch them little bits out coffee dyed paper dreams etc big jumbo wallpaper tag i have backed it but you can still see the embossing but do you know what it's not that bad you could still write on that or you could decorate the tag so that goes in there fabric tab another tag here and this is artie maze as well from i think that might be letter ephemera kit or document kit possibly another one of these these i know this image is uh mrs cogs and it is romeo and juliet so that flips open we've got another one of these and oops flicking a paper clip about and that goes on there this is the original piece of French ephemera it's got some washi there because there was a slight little tear and then I put the um, what do you call that stuff I just said it a minute ago crochet trim cheap cheap off um, that is the original music paper a little bit of digital washi there we've got this freebie on my coffee shop I think this is Artie Mays as well that's from her letter ephemera kit. Got another tag here. Uh, this is, I don't know who that's from. I think that might be um, tailor-made journals. 
That is tailor made journals. Just, oh no, I think that actually goes over. I put that over like so, like that. I did. And a little tag there. And we have another tag there, Ruby and Pearl. That can go in there. I love that paper as well. That's Ruby and Pearl. Then here, another little paper clip that flips open. That is original French, French ephemera. It's got a nice feel to it. So I've got another wallpaper tag. Obviously, that's embossed. It kind of looks like baskety woven type thing. Um, no glitter on that one. Ruby and Pearl. Look how lovely they are. And that's from that new kit. I can't remember who that is. But like I said, if you want to know who it is, I'll look it up. England is a garden. That is, I think, Romeo and Juliet from Mrs. Cogs. Mrs. Cogs. A little pocket there. Ruby and Pearl. Artie Mays. I think this is a letter ephemera. Uh, the old design shop. It's printed on nice thick card, not card, thick paper. Ruby and Pearl, England is a garden, that flips out, that's a little tuck there, and then here we have, um, I think that's supposed to go in there, well that's where it's going, no, you know what, I'm going to put that in there, I'm going to tuck it in there, like so, that is the old design shop. Uh, that's paper clips on there. That's a freebie from my coffee shop. And that is the bag. That's Artie Mays paper. So that is the journal. Nice little thick one. It's not actually, it's not little. It actually weighs quite a bit. Um, so this will be listed in my shop if you're interested. Um, and like I said, there's another video with another journal. I must have put it away. Yeah, check me out getting all organised and putting stuff away before before I'm due to. <laughs> so there we have it. Um, if you have any questions, just ask. And thanks for watching. Bye.